What is up guys, welcome back to another player review. Today we're going to be looking at second Inform Hazard going for a whooping around a million coins I think, I don't even know, but this guy is very very expensive. Is he worth the price tag? That's what we're going to find out today. If you guys are looking for a cheap or reliable place to get your coins, check out Batelier.com, their link will be in the description, use the code Utah to get 5% off. Now there's a problem. I reviewed Inform Hazard on the previous generation and now on current gen, he plays a little different and that is a problem on the new generation of consoles because in this FIFA he seems less effective in my opinion he seems shitter to be exact now on the previous generation on the 360 PS3 he was okay he was good actually I, I really enjoyed using him but on the next generation of consoles his second inform was a disappointment maybe because the game mechanics changed slightly and now he isn't as effective as he was before now he is extremely weak and I never actually thought of this when I was playing with him on the previous generation but he's very very weak and he doesn't seem as fast as he was before I don't know what it was about him but he just didn't feel the same at all now when I was shooting with him as well he has 86 shot power but it does live up to that sometimes and sometimes it just feels so damn weak I'm not too sure what was going on there with second inform hazard come on I was expecting a lot out of this guy but there's a lot of better left wingers or left midfielders that you can actually use in the Premier League such as William or Schurler both in the same exact team now I'm not going to be taking away anything from second and from Hazard. He does have decent pace, just doesn't live up to his pace stats in my opinion. Very good dribbler. I'm not going to take that away from him. He's still a very, very good dribbler. So if you're really good at dribbling, you could easily get past defenders if they do not touch you. If they touch you, forget about dribbling, forget about Hazard even existing. He's just going to be on the floor. Very good finisher in the penalty area. Had no problems finishing with him. He has that four-star weak foot and four-star skills with a perfect work rate. So you know he's always going to be there at the right time, exactly when you need them as long as defenders don't touch him of course decent shot power and long shots they're decent nothing too special you would see a nice long shot from him but they're very inconsistent when I'm using him because he does have uh, when you're taking long shots with him the shot power seems very weak sometimes or most of the time now his finesse shot trait is really powerful you will see a couple of times I take finesse shots with him overall he just doesn't seem as effective as he used to be on the previous generation of consoles so maybe if I reviews his inform on the next gen consoles then I would have actually been able to um, compare both of the players but since they pretty much different completely because the the game mechanics are kind of different on next gen and previous gen so that is all I have to say about that so I hope you guys enjoyed this review if you did I'd really appreciate it. like do I recommend him not in my opinion I think it, you're better off buying William or Schurler but other than that he is still good don't get me wrong I made it sound like he is complete and utter shit no he's not like that he's not like inform us or anything like that he's actually a really good player just don't expect him to be as good as he was on the previous generation of consoles but if you have tried Hazard and if you enjoyed using him on the next gen consoles then you will enjoy second inform Form. but if you're like me tried him on the previous gen and didn't like him on the next gen you will not like the second inform so hope you guys enjoyed it let me know who you want me to review from the next team of the week and i hope you guys have a very nice day